Hey guys, it's Ben with HRG TV. We're here to install this Tough Stuff Overland awning. We're gonna do it on our old shop truck here. This is our 2018 Ford F-150. We just kind of use it for hauling stuff around, but we're gonna start doing more stuff with it as far as overlanding and off-road stuff. Got us a rooftop tent up here and some uh, decorative uh, canisters. We don't actually use those. They're just there for, for looks. But basically, we're gonna add this awning now. We do sell these on hrgoffroad.com, so if you need one, the link will be in the description. This is a much, much higher quality piece than you'll find on Amazon. And you can tell right away with just the cover that it is much more durable and solid. It's got these really heavy duty zippers. Uh, the ones I've seen from Amazon, they're a lot more flimsy, but this is really, really well made. It actually comes with a really nice instruction manual. This is the instruction book here. It kind of shows you how to set it up, how to install it. Now it does show you the installation on a roof rack application. So you would actually bolt these brackets to a roof rack. Um, but we have this bed rack up here by RCI and that will allow us to bolt it directly to that. So we won't actually need these brackets here. So if you have a roof, regular roof rack, you will use these. They bolt to the back of this like so. And then you would bolt these to your roof rack. So uh, since we don't need that, we're gonna go ahead and bolt this directly to the RCI rack. When I unboxed this, at first thought that the hardware was missing, but the hardware is actually inside the bag here. So this little bag was actually inside here with the hardware and the instructions. So if you open this up and think there's stuff missing, it's inside here. It's kind of nice they give these little extra bags. What I think is actually really cool is guys, look at this. A 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench. That is gonna come in handy. Look how nice that is. I mean, that's not like, that's a really nice piece right there. We'll not find that in an Amazon awning. So let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions here. First step is you're gonna install the bolts that go into these channels. So let's turn this over. These channels here is what holds the hardware that bolts it to the vehicle. Looks like it uses these, I think it's these here. It says small bolts. So there's two sizes here. You've got bigger ones and smaller ones. So the smaller ones are the ones that are gonna go into this channel. So basically all you have to do, slide those in to the channels, visually estimate where these are gonna end up, but we only need four. So we're gonna put four of them in, two on each side. So we're gonna slide those over. What we'll do next is two nuts that go on here, we'll just through bolt right onto our brackets. Yeah, I see a problem already. This is the hardware that is supposed to hold this. It's made for holding it onto these little brackets here, but obviously we're not using them. I think what we need to do is we need to locate some washers. Yeah, see, that's not gonna really hold very well. So I found these washers. I actually had these laying around. Uh, I was able to make them work, but if you don't have a, a stash of old washers, this is gonna be an M6 washer so you want an m6 fender wash you should be able to find them at uh, boltsandnuts.com or any place that sells hardware that's going to help us attach this and uh, give the nuts something to clamp to when we bolt it up It'd be easier with two people but uh, somebody's got to run the camera basically what i'm going to do is position this up here on these brackets as soon as i get one through it'll support its own weight once that's attached, you know it's not gonna fall off. And we'll be able to tighten these with this handy wrench that they gave us. Whoa. So you don't wanna do that. It's always a do as I say, not as I do type of situation. We're gonna just rest that there for now. So now we'll just position this here. Now we're safe, it's not gonna fall. You would normally use like a power tool for this. We don't have one today, so we're gonna use this wrench they gave us. Another thing you want to look at is how it's positioned in relation to the cab and, and however you want it to, to be positioned front to back. So once you tighten these, it's obviously going to be in place. So I'm going to push it this way just a little bit. So that's good enough. From there, it's just a matter of tightening these up. Okay. To be clear, if you don't have access to metric hardware, this is actually an M6 washer, but quarter inch fender washer will actually work as well. So those are a little bit easier to find, I think. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and the instructions, it does show you the quick setup procedure, which is, I mean, it's more or less self-explanatory, but it's cool that they actually, uh, you know, spend the time to uh, 
show you how to deploy it and then put it away. So we're gonna unzip it all the way up like that. It's a really high quality piece. I can't say that enough. So you're gonna undo these little straps right here. I think they just, yeah, they just unclip. So you probably wanna keep those like that. Unroll this puppy and see what it looks like. Look at that. So now you'll have these two legs here that come down, and then you've got two more legs that extend. Oh, these are nice. They so just twist them to uh, to lock them in place, like this. And then you'll twist these like this, and that locks them. So now you'll take these two. come from the inside. I'm trying to make this look as cumbersome as possible. <laughs> it's really not too bad. Now you're basically gonna flip these out like so. And then same thing, you twist them. And these are gonna come all the way out and lock in right here. Once you get them into that little spot, then you're gonna wanna lock this one in place by twisting them. Same thing with this one here. Bring it around and then lock it into place. There you go. There you go. Let's do this one a little bit tighter. Yeah, you just want to pull it and then twist that and it'll tighten in place. I mean, that's pretty quick. That was easy for one person doing it. Two people would be much easier. Lastly, you're going to want to secure it with these little Velcro straps here on either side. If we had dirt, we would use these ropes to anchor it, and it comes with these anchors. So you pound these into the dirt, and it holds these in place. And in case it's windy, this will keep it from blowing away. It's a, uh, you know, perfect height for me. I'm kind of short, so tall people, you might have to mount it a little higher, but this is fine for me. And this is a really solid, high-quality piece. You can feel it when you, when you handle it. You can feel it. It's solid. So we recently put the awning to the test in our little off-road camping adventure we went on out in the wilderness. And the awning performed flawlessly as you'd expect. It did rain the night before, which put out our campfire, but it was nice to have a place to huddle up and stay dry. That's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, obviously you give us a call, 844-HRG-LIFT, or go on our website, www.hrgoffroad.com, and I'll see you in the next video.